What if dinosaurs never went extinct? 66 million years ago, a six mile wide asteroid came plummeting to Earth and delivered a fatal blow. It struck with the force of 10 billion atom bombs and seared everything for hundreds of miles in every direction. The atmosphere burned, and this event saw the destruction of an entire class of gigantic animals. No creature over 55 pounds survived the impact. In fact, we lost 75% of all species on the planet, including, of course, dinosaurs. But what if the asteroid never hit? What if it hit a different place than it did? What if dinosaurs never went extinct? For answers to those questions and more, keep watching. Firstly, we do live among dinosaurs right now. Pigeons, geese, hawks. These are all descendants of the theropods, a family whose members include the great T-Rex. But we're talking about the kinds in Jurassic Park. Before the asteroid hit, armies of trees stretched the sky from thickets and shrubs. Earth's atmosphere had about 50% more oxygen than it does today. Higher oxygen levels meant larger animals. The sauropods, which succeeded the Chinsosaurus, the largest animals to ever live on land, thanks to the rise in oxygen levels at the time. With enormous dinosaurs come enormous insects. Bugs like Meganeropus parima buzzed around Earth around the time of dinosaurs, and they are the larger cousins of dragonflies we see today, with a wingspan of 28 inches and tail of 17 inches. Dinosaurs plodded across the supercontinent Pangaea before it broke up in the Triassic period, meaning differences between animal species and plant species were minor. The climate stayed hot and dry, and much of the Earth was just a desert. No polar ice caps, and slight variation in geography. It sounds quite ideal for a, a giant animal living in those times. What would Earth look like if it hadn't been hit by a geography and climate altering asteroid? Actually, even if the asteroid hadn't hit Earth, their chances of survival would still be slim. Dinosaurs were already struggling through several environmental threats before the impact, with dramatic changes in sea level, intense volcanic eruptions, and fluctuations in temperature, the dinosaurs' last hours on planet Earth were far from dull. Okay, not hours, it was more like 400,000 years. Well, before the asteroid ever came into the picture, a series of volcanic eruptions in India triggered rapid global climate change. Pangaea had also begun to split, leaving some land masses completely isolated and some connected with only temporary land bridges, which formed because of fluctuating sea levels in the Cretaceous period. They had enough to worry about without the asteroid, but let's say they survived all of that. What would that mean for us? When the dinosaurs were extinct, our Earth entered the age of mammals. Had the giants survived, mammals would probably have remained in the shadows like they have been for hundreds of millions of years. There's no denying that climate change would have shaped their evolution, assuming they survived. The long-necked sauropods might have started breeding at a younger age and shrinking in size. They would be only slightly bigger than cows, certainly nothing like what we know today. Sauropods were large, perhaps because of the processing time and gut size needed to digest the less nutritious ferns and gymnosperms. As small animals, they would rely primarily on flowering plants, as they're easier to digest. The later Cretaceous period saw the rise of flowing plants and also fruits, which co-evolved alongside mammals and birds, which helped disperse seeds. Perhaps we could have had monkey-like dinosaurs that swing off of trees, just like primates did. Smaller, ground-dwelling dinosaurs could have evolved like primates, or become nectar drinkers spreading pollen from flower to flower. Around 34 million years ago, around the start of Allegocene period, there was another event, the separation of South America and Antarctica. This led to the formation of the Antarctic ice caps, after which, during the Miocene era, grasslands coated the planet. To adapt to this, dinosaurs would likely have developed squared off snouts and shorter necks to help them graze the way horses and cows do. They would also have had to deal with the ice ages that occurred over 2.6 million years. As a result of that, we would now likely have a woolly or shaggy Tyrannosaurus, Dromniosaur or Hadrosaur. We don't really think about other adaptions that a dinosaur definitely did not have but would need today, like the ability to burrow. 
given more time, some species may have become subterranean specialists, the scaly or feathery equivalent of mammalian moles. The oceans are another world relatively unexplored by dinosaurs. Some might have followed the path of mallium whales and evolved to live in the sea, or they might be the kind to return to land to lay eggs. But the big question is, could we coexist with them? Are you interested in the strange and the unknown? Subscribe to Fact Monkey and ring the bell for more mind-blowing content. There are a lot of variables. For example, while humans weren't around when dinosaurs walked the earth, other mammals were, but they stayed in the darkness to hide from the giants. So we would still have primates and maybe even a version of humanity. We would have had some tree-dwelling primates that as grasslands expanded, would move into that habitat and become the pseudo-humans of this alternative universe. And just as our ancestors had to deal with saber-toothed cats and giant antelope, these guys would have to deal with domerosaurs and abelisaurs. Forget skyscrapers and airplanes, we would have to create protected places, the way our ancestors lived alongside large dangerous animals and had to come up with ways to survive. The Mesozoic era wasn't quite the bloodbath most think it was, where humans got ripped to shreds in seconds. But you certainly had to stay out of the way if you didn't want to get hurt. And that's what would happen with dinosaurs too. We would have settlements in deep forests or caves where dinosaurs wouldn't roam. But assuming we waited long enough for oxygen levels to decrease and the Earth to become what it is today, perhaps we could live alongside the smaller dinosaurs. And given how intelligent mammals are possible, we could maybe even have sentient dinosaurs. The carnivorous dinosaur, Trudon, had an unusually large brain, and it might have been the lineage to produce brainy dinosaurs. We have found that they are equivalent to crows, parrots, and primates in their intelligence, with their complex brains and problem-solving abilities. Whether it would be in the league of human intelligence, who could tell? One thing is for sure, they wouldn't look like us. The pathway to humans was quite odd when you really look at it, because it involved hanging from trees. Meanwhile, dinosaurs got to pedality through a more reasonable approach. But for those that evolved to be like primates, perhaps those dinosaurs could grow to become more like us. If not exactly the same. Longer, more slender limbs, opposable thumbs, and an upright posture. But knowing human nature, we would likely have found a way to domesticate them or develop weapons to hunt them across the globe. After all, humans did hunt mammoths and other megafauna and drove them to extinction. In our past, large mammals were mostly wiped out, except for a few like elephants and rhinos. Our population growth and technology would inevitably take a toll on even the biggest animals the world has ever seen. We would slowly move out of our settlements and claim more and more land, driving dinosaurs into protected wilderness and national parks. These would have to be truly vast spaces though, located in the outback Australia or Alaska. Sadly, it's not much of a stretch to imagine a world where you could hop on a dinosaur safari and enjoy spotting them with binoculars. In our world today, the vast majority of animal biomass is made up of the species that we farm or have domesticated, or those that live around our cities and developments, much like cats. The non-avian dinosaurs would perhaps adapt to our urban environments, thriving as pigeons and rats do. We might have lived in a world where small, beaked herbivorous dinos nibbled on the flowers in your garden, or small, omnivorous theropods lurked around garbage cans. We might have even found a use for them as meat or used them as pets. Or perhaps the idea is too far-fetched. The asteroid was one of the dominoes that set in the motion a chain of events that led to human evolution. Without the dinosaurs disappearing, we might have not gotten the same opportunities. If you loved this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification icon. We release lots of engaging content on this channel frequently, and we'd love you to be a part of our content creating process. So in the comment section, leave us with a suggested topic that you'd want us to explore, and we get to it.